I would hope that people would take away why they are burnt out, unfulfilled, and still yearning for more in their careers. It's the Extended Remix. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 5-Minute Career Hack Extended Remix curated just for you. Every Tuesday at 7 a.m. Central, we deliver to you career hacks like you've never seen before or heard in five minutes or less. No fluff, all action. All you have to do is jot down a few notes and implement immediately to start seeing results. Now, we do a detailed breakdown for our community to implement these hacks real time after each podcast airs. And they communicate with us. They ask questions. They share their challenges. We help them overcome through some coaching and mentoring. That's all in our community. You'll see a link to join our community if that's something that you need right now. You will see a link in the description. So go ahead and click that link. But we still have so much more to give after each episode. For the extended remix, we're letting loose all of the things that had to be edited out to keep the podcast around five minutes. So we're going to get started with the extended remix on our series Career Shift. And if you haven't listened or watched those two episodes, you got episode 41, which was titled Career Shift by Candace, which is a phenomenal way to start off this series. Episode 42 was Get In Your Zone by Alicia. Episode 43 was Career Options Part 2 by none other than myself. Episode 44, Open Marriage Part 2. Oh my gosh. I mean, they're not ready for that. They're not you, ready. If you have not <laughs> watched. I wanted to move people's mind, right? So actually just drop some emojis for the first open marriage that Candace did, right? Like, I <laughs> think we, everywhere we go, people talk about that episode, right? right. It is just, yes. oh my gosh. It's, it's so provocative, right? Yes. It, it, it was one of my favorite. It was one of my favorite to write and record. <laughs> awesome. So that was episode one. I mean, part one of Open Marriage, and now you have part two of Open Marriage. So if you haven't watched it, my goodness, and if you have watched it, drop a few comments in the in the bottom right here and let us know what you felt about that episode. And then finally, episode forty five, Get in Your Zone, part two. Part two. So if you haven't listened to those episodes, don't worry. You still have time. You can either listen or watch wherever you stream podcasts or watch podcasts right here on YouTube as well. So with that being said, as we do with every extended remix, we're not going to take all five episodes, but we are going to take one and give you some additional insight. Talk about some of the things that we want you to wanted everyone to take away from it, but also a few things that maybe we couldn't keep in that I unfortunately had to edit out. And it's a painful process because it's so much good information. All right, so I'm going to go to Alicia this time first. In our last extended remix, we went to Candace first. So I'm going to go to Alicia this time. And you've got two episodes in this series. So tell us that one thing that you wanted people to take away from your episode, as well as the thing that I unfortunately had to edit out painfully. Tell us what that Mm is. Okay, okay. So first up, when we talk to like friends and family, they're always very curious about the inspiration, right? So the inspiration was a book and named the book is The Genius Zone, but it was really actually how I got the information. I was listening to a podcast myself and it was just like, even the way the person was breaking it down made me so curious. And I say that to say is I wanted to like give a little bit and make it more about the listener and not about the content. So I was really holding myself back specifically around the three zones, right? And so talking about the incompetence, competence, and excellence, and I gave small examples, right? But what I really, you know, and this goes to both of the questions, I really wanted people to think about where they're spending their time. I really want us to think about that 90% of our time is spent in these zones. I would hope that people would take away why they are burnt out, unfulfilled, and still yearning for more in their careers. And that's really what I, the biggest thing, right? And that's why I was like, get in your zone. Candace says this all the time, right? And it comes up when we do our LinkedIn, a review class of like not getting caught up in what people are putting on LinkedIn. Right. So you see someone getting a new job or they're celebrating these things. That's what I was picturing. And I would hope that the listener would take is you figure out what your genius zone looks like for you. But you first have to go through kind of this minutia and figure out where you are spending your time. So that's the first part of what I hope that they got out of it. Hey, did you set some lofty goals for yourself this year? I mean, really big goals. Well, guess what? You're not alone. Let me tell you what the top three areas most of our clients come to us for. Promotions, how to get more money, and how do I make a career change? 
And guess what the commonality is between all three ask? How do I do it fast? Don't give up. Keep dreaming big and let the 5-Minute Career Hack team help you get there with the In Transit Workshop. Check out the link and you can sign up today. What I was kind of like, oh my gosh, you have to edit out is giving the examples in each one. Because it was just like, you know, you hold yourself back like we talked about and just you have five minutes. And incompetence is usually pretty easy, at least from a coach's perspective, right? I mean, pointing out what you need to like, kind of shaking you to say, stop doing this. But when you start getting into the competence and excellence zones, oh my gosh, like we can be thinking like, that's not a bad place to be, right? If I'm in competence, I'm probably content, right? I probably am adding value. I feel good. This may be a sweet spot. And depending on where you are in your career, if I'm about to retire, this is actually probably where I want to be. So that was just so hard. And then when I thought about excellence, that personally was challenging for me. Just as a quest, and I started thinking about all of the just high performing people that that's their quest every day. They probably do spend a lot of their time here and how that's getting them stuck in that place. So that was really hard. It was really hard to edit that out. Yeah. And I could tell, honestly, I get an incredible front row seat, as Alicia mentioned in our previous extended remix, how we get live on demand in learning mode for each other's podcasts and each other's presentations. When we're doing things in the community, courses, webinars, things of that nature, we get a front row seat to consistently being learning mode and it's phenomenal. However, I feel like I get an extra special seat because I get to edit all of our content. And when I'm watching them present the material and I'm, I'm chopping it up, getting it to that five minute around that five minute sweet spot. Sometimes I leave it. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell everybody. Sometimes I leave it. We've got some episodes out there that are like eight minutes because I simply cannot bring myself to cut it out. And with that particular episode, Elisa, as I was watching you record it, each of us has this thing that happens to us. And I I like to believe it's us getting in the spirit when God's moving us. And I could tell when I was editing the podcast that you were like, when you got to that, that point where you were talking about competence, I could tell you had so much more you wanted to say so much more you wanted to say and, and probably even coach us all on. That was what I picked up. I don't know if that's true or not, but I felt like you were about to go into coaching mode and be like, you've got to get out. (laughs) Well, because so many people were flashing before my eyes, right? Mm -hmm. And even when I think about, I go back to our first LinkedIn um, review that we did. And we had people on there that were looking to do more. And we were pointing out, you're just doing the basics. You're looking to get promoted, but this is what, and so I was just there, all these faces. And I was just like, oh my goodness, but you got to move forward. I can tell. And and we, and just so you all know, if you're listening or watching, this is not something we discussed prior to, but again, I could see knowing her very well at this point, we've known all known each other close to a decade. I could tell she was about to go into coaching mode, but, but like pulled herself back a step. And I believe that, you know, and I'm going to say this out loud. I believe that part needs to be an episode pretty soon. I don't know what that might look like, but I think you need to let that go because you said, hey, we don't need to sit here in confidence. And you have one of those, uh, I call them ticks, right? Those things that we do when we're about to, you know, go in. <laughs> we all have it. And you were about to go in. So I think you need to figure out a way if we've got to do something special or it's an episode in the future to make sure we revisit that. So it's marked in now. It's out in the open. So we'll. I'll, I'll, look, I'll let, I'll let whatever that is use me and let that keep going because I agree. <laughs> and did you have anything you wanted to say on that, Candace, before we, we turn the spotlight to you and your episode on Career Shift? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I, when Alicia said, you know, so many people were flashing before her eyes, when I listened to the episode, it was, I could see me at different stages of my many career shifts and where I was in my life. I could see me flashing at every every stage of my career shifts and so I just it was just it was such a phenomenal episode um, where we can not only do we like she said earlier not only do we do this for other people but this is self-coaching as well when we're writing we're coaching ourselves and that's kind of what I felt I was looking at me and not even all the people that I've coached the hundreds and thousands that we've coached in our careers right it's amazing it's amazing sometimes the different emotions that we go through because the the reason we started five minute career hack was solely because 
we spend so much time on the phone. We spend so much time mentoring, coaching throughout our career. And still to this day that we realized there was so much more information and so much more, so many more people that we could actually help on a day to day, week to week basis. So that's why we're here. That's why we're doing this because we just couldn't keep all of this stuff between a three way call or a two way Mm -hmm. call with one individual and not share it with more people. So that's why we do it. That's our mission. That's why we do it. Now the five minute career hack, we call this hacking. Look at you, you just did it. And you don't have to stop here. Take one step every week and ensure that you are pouring into you and getting closer to your career goals. Yep, see that button down there? Hit subscribe, but don't stop there because you know what they say, sharing is caring. So take five and we'll see you next week. Tune in for part two next Tuesday.